What is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. It's been a short while and I'm going to be more consistent with videos now. I was basically finishing off my masters in sports nutrition and that is what brought about this video. I did my dissertation in citrulline malate and how it impacts repeat sprint ability. So the ability to sprint continuously with short rest periods. But the majority of the work on citrulline and citrulline malate has been done in strength training and is applicable to building muscle. So make sure you stay tuned. So you've probably come across both citrulline and citrulline malate in maybe your, in your supplement or online or wherever. You've, either way, you've come across this video and you thought to yourself, are they effective? Can they offer any benefits in terms of muscle growth? We'll get into that shortly, but first, what is citrulline malate? It's made up of the non-essential amino acid L-citronine bounded to malate or malic acid, which is an intermedi intermediate in the citric acid or TCA or Krebs cycle, which is responsible for producing ATP and in short energy basically. So that's the whole idea about adding malate to citrulline to make citrulline malate. They thought that it may be more effective in increasing energy production, thus adding another benefit to the supplement. But you're probably wondering what are the proposed benefits? Proposed benefits not confirmed are that citrulline or citrulline malate, whichever one, increases arginine levels in the blood and increases nitroxide levels, which increases oxygen to the blood, increases nutrient delivery, and it does that more effectively than argin arginine on its own. It's better tolerated by your body, it's better th synthesized by your body. And then you've got the proposed mechanism of clearing lactate, lactic acid, which builds up, you've increased your exercise intensity. So that can, if it can do that, then it can delay fatigue and ammonia production as well. Again, if it can remove ammonia from the blood, it can also increase your performance. And the final one is increasing ATP production, increasing energy production. Those three mechanisms have not been fully confirmed, but there's some evidence to support each of them in the research. So what led me to study citrulline malate? I thought, let me take a look at some meta-analysis. I took a look at three, Trexler and Gonzalez et al. No, no, not et al. Just Trexler and Gonzalez, I think it's 2020. Reem et al, 2020. Varick et al, 2021. Quite recent meta-analysis and those all pointed me in the direction that citrulline or citrulline malate can offer some benefits in performance. Some showed significant benefits and some others showed not such significant benefits, others showed no benefits, but overall, definitely some benefits. Well, that's what the, those are what the studies were pointing to. And then one study which stood out to me on strength performance was Perez and Gusido, Perez Gusido, et al 2010 and that showed increased number of reps on a bench press reps and sets on a bench press even and that was using eight grams 60 minutes before the workout that was a one-off dose so that was quite promising and then there was wax et al in 2015 which found again an increase in reps and that was a one-off dose i think it was eight grams it's on the screen now anyway. But um, the most common dose I found in the research was eight grams, 60 minutes before. They, Gonzalez and Trex actually found that, well, proposed anyway, that it, you'd probably get better results by using a more chronic dose. So that's why I used a chronic dose in my study. What did I find? I didn't find any significant benefits, but that was on repeat sprint ability. And when I say no significant benefits, I mean there were some benefits. So probably about two to three percent overall, but that was with eight participants using eight grams for seven days versus a placebo. So I'd done a randomized control trial, which was very tough given the circumstances, and I did it outside as well. So it wasn't super controlled, but there were some benefits. I would say overall, um, do I recommend using? citrine or citrine malate. There's some studies that have actually found no benefit at all, like literally nothing to use in citrine or citrine malate. Uh, one off the top of my head was Comfy 2016. Um, there, yeah, there were quite a few studies that found no, but no benefits at all. I think Gonzalez 2018 found no benefits as well. 
yeah, quite a few say no benefits, but if you're looking for that 1%, that just that small margin of performance increased, then performance increased, performance increases. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Just <laughs> increases in performance. You speak in English. Then maybe you might want to use citrine or citrine malate. I wouldn't say rush out to buy it. It's not one of those, it's not creatine. I would rush out to buy creatine now if you're not using it. But anyway, um, with citrine, citrine malate, it can offer some benefits from what I've seen in the research. More research needs to be done to find out exactly what mechanisms are actually driving those benefits and in larger studies can there be uh, more sorry in more long-term studies can there be benefits as well so the more research is definitely needed but looks quite promising uh from what i've seen anyway my study didn't show any benefits but it did like three percent but that's not really a that's not a significant benefit especially when you're performing a statistical analysis and the rpe i looked at whether it would re reduce rpe and it didn't but uh, yeah, so it could increase the number of reps you perform, which could then lead to increasing the weight, which then could lead to muscle growth. If it's in your pre-workout, I wouldn't take it out. I wouldn't take it out. Citrulline malate over citrulline, completely up to you. It depends on the flavor profile, but make sure they're using at least six grams of L-citrulline and about eight grams of citrulline malate, just to make sure you're getting enough. If they're not using eight grams of citrulline malate, and you like the brand for whatever reason just maybe add a bit more uh, just make up make eight grams and it's tolerable up to 15 grams the research says but i wouldn't risk it and just go crazy the only real side effect you can get from citrine or citrine malate is you can get gi distress and if you've got kidney problems as well um yeah i wouldn't use i wouldn't be using any of these supplements to be honest but i wouldn't use citrine or citrine malate anyway if you enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't clicked that subscribe button click that subscribe button uh, this is a video very much on a fly i usually have some sorts of notes before so i can refer to in this video i had zero because my printer is down but expect a video once a week from me if there's any particular video you want to see drop below in the comments and if you have any questions at all, I will have my notes for your questions. So if you have any questions at all regarding citrine or citrine malate, comment below. And until the next video, keep pushing those limits.